In this example, we're going to work on what we call age problems, where we're trying to figure out um, how old two people are based on um, some clues. So this one says, Mario is five years older than Luigi. In 17 years, the sum of their ages will be 97 years. How old are they? So this is kind of a tough situation in that they give us information about Mario's age and Luigi's age now. And then they give us information about how they compare to each other in 17 years. So they give us two very distinct sets of information. So one thing that's helpful here is to set up a little chart. And so the way this chart will look is we'll have Mario's age and we'll have Luigi's age. Okay. And we'll make kind of a little little table out of this. Okay. And then we'll split this in two. And what we'll have here is we'll have what we know about them now and what we know about them 17 years from now. Now, do you have to set up a uh, do you have to set up a table like this? No, you really don't. But uh, but I think this is really helpful, and so you'll probably want to, at least at first, as you're getting used to um, setting up these story problems. So, again, we have two different things to find. We have both of their ages to try to figure out. And if you remember with the problems where we had larger numbers and smaller numbers, um, the thing that I said was it really doesn't matter which of the numbers you make your main variable. So you could let the smaller number be x or you could let the larger number be x. It really doesn't matter. Um, in a case like this, I think there is a best answer. Okay. So the, read the first sentence here. It says Mario is five years older than Luigi. You're always going to make life a lot easier on yourself if you let your X, or whatever letter you want to use, be what is being compared to. So we ask ourselves the question, is Mario's age being compared to Luigi's, or is Luigi's age being compared to Mario? Well, it's definitely the first, right? Mario is five years older than Luigi, so Luigi is the one being compared to. So you're going to make life much easier if you let Luigi have just the main variable of x, and then you write Mario's age in terms of Luigi's. Okay, so if Luigi is x, and Mario is five years older than Luigi, well, that would be take Luigi's age and add five. So we have expressions for their ages now, x plus five and x. Okay. Now they give this big long sentence here that tells information about what's happening in 17 years. Okay. Well, in 17 years, uh, before we write out an equation, we can write out what their ages will look like. Right? If Luigi's age now is x, I think it's pretty clear that in 17 years, his age is x plus 17. Right? And if Mario's age is x plus 5, it should be pretty clear that you just take the age that he is now and add 17 to it. Right? And we could simplify that. Of course, for Mario, it's 5 plus 17 is 22, so you could just say x plus 22. So we know an expression for Luigi's age in 17 years and an expression for Mario's age in 17 years. And so now what we can do is look at this sentence and figure out if that allows us to set up an equation. In 17 years, so in this scenario here, the sum of their ages will be 97. Okay, so of course sum means addition, and that sum will equal 97. Okay, so what plus what equals 97? Well, their age is in 17 years. So all I need to do is take Mario's age in 17 years and 
and Luigi's age in 17 years. Okay, I'm going to put parentheses around these, not because I need to for algebraic reasons, but just to really show this whole thing is Mario's age in 17 years, this whole thing is Luigi's age in 17 years. Okay, and then we can drop out the parentheses, so they really don't matter. There's just plus signs out here, so you're just distributing w positive 1 through, which doesn't really do anything. So it's just x plus 22 plus x plus 17 equals 97. And we know, of course, if they're simplifying to do, we do that first. So x plus x is 2x, and then 22 plus 17 is going to give me 39. So of course I need to move 39 to the right side. I've run out of room, so continue things over here. So 2x equals, let's see, 58. So divide both sides by 2. So x is equal to 29. But again, remember that we need to make sure we're answering the question being asked. It didn't just ask us to find x, it asked us to find Luigi's age and Mario's age now. So we can already say that Luigi is 29 years old uh, because Luigi was x. And then Mario is, of course, 34 years old. And we're getting that from 29 plus 5.